What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art video, man. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you budge out some heat. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to create a symbol, a custom symbol inside of Adobe Illustrator. Pretty much a symbol is where you turn your art into like a sticker so you'll be able to reuse it later on down the line. Without further ado, let's jump right into this video. The first thing you want to do is create some art that you want to turn into a symbol. And the type of art you want to create when you're making symbols, just think of stuff that you use a lot for backgrounds. That's what I do when I'm making symbols like clouds, stars, fire, just whatever you know you draw a lot and you 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 want to reuse in different um pictures, you know what I'm saying? So right now let's work on a little cloud, you feel? And this is just for tutorial purposes. You know, I can make this million times. Just trying to give y'all a great example. What I utilize the uh, symbol tools for. And it'll buy you a whole lot of time, like when you create artwork, you know what I'm saying? So what I would do is I would spend my time really working on some custom symbols. If I was you guys and just make things that I can reuse. Like, let's do like a money bag. You know what I'm saying? Somebody might want to add a little money bag in the picture. Symbols were you using the dollars? Cash. Looks like a cash form. Mm -hmm. like All right. Okay. I'm gonna create a new layer. Color this the long way. Let's see. Gotta fill all this in. It's a quicker way to color this. I just, I don't know. I just decided to do this. I don't waste time. I got plenty of tutorials to show you guys how to color. selection tool you see this cloud you still want to drag this cloud wait why we why we got everything selected like this what we can do we can go to object expand appearance and click merge on our pathfinder and we can drag this entire cloud hold up I'm gonna select it again drag this whole entire cloud to the symbol tool and you just drop it in there and then you can name it whatever you want to name it. 
and hit OK. And it save a copy of your art as a symbol. Now let's do the same thing with the dollars. Man. We're going to drag it. Just drag and drop. And every time you drag and drop some art that you completed, it adds it to your symbols. You know what I'm saying? So you can make you a whole collection of different pieces of art and save it as symbols so you can stay reusing them. You know what I'm saying? Now, just to say, say if I want to save all these symbols I created like in a playlist. I call it playlist, but really it's just like a file, you know what I'm saying? So go to save symbols, then you can create the uh the name for the symbols that you just created, you know what I'm saying? So how you use how would I use a symbol? Let's say if I was drawing uh a dope picture of a cartoon here. Let me find a cartoon here. We got one right here. Say, I drew a picture already, but I want to make my background creative. But I don't want to spend too much time. That's when your symbols will come in handy. So, what you got to do is go to our little symbol list we created. Drag and drop the pre art we made. And it ain't like it's cheating because you drew the art that you reusing. You see what I'm saying? Now we just can just drag. Be creative and buy us time. And that's why I said when you start creating symbols, take your time. On the pieces that you're gonna reuse. You know what I'm saying? So if I was really going to use all these symbols I made, I would really take my time on the clouds. And what I would do is I make a, a whole list of categories of different things. I make a whole folder full of 20 different clouds. I make a whole folder full of uh 20 different dollar signs and you know, just make a a big old selection so you can just have a variety to choose from. And it'll look more natural, you know what I'm saying? When you got different styles of different things to reuse. Yeah, man. That's how you use these symbols, man. Y'all can take this to the next level, though wanted to show y'all a little basic video on how you use the symbols thank you guys for watching make sure you like this video and you leave in the comments a video you would like for me to make next you know what i'm saying i appreciate you guys for the love and support make sure you stay tuned because more heat coming soon and i'm out